Hey, y'all. What's going on, y'all? What is going on? We back. We are back to finally finish off the Baddies Caribbean auditions. Yo, I must say, I think my biggest regrets is watching these auditions because I got to see in real time. I got to see how people were selling their souls. I actually got to see it even more so. I know I said this before, but this shit is sad. This shit is sad. I know I want to be on reality TV. I know I do. But I don't think I could give up my soul, sell out myself to do what these girls were doing. And Natalie, Shazia, and Spice, y'all know better. Y'all knew how bad them girls wanted to be on the show. So y'all did any and everything. Use them girls for y'all entertainment. Like, no tea, no shade. It was kind of given like y'all was the Caucasian folks from back then. And these girls were the slaves. That's how I interpret it. I mean, no tea, no shade. I don't want to offend nobody. But let's talk about it. Let's unpack it a little bit before we get into it. Y'all tell me if I'm tripping. I'm not saying that's what it was. But let's be for real. What did those folks do to us back then? Use us for entertainment. So it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth seeing y'all do the things y'all did to them. It did, but shit, they ain't no better. They going right along with it. Except one person. One girl actually had the heart to stand up to Natalie. Despite them playing in her face, she stood up for herself. And she's a queen. But with all that out of the way, y'all done heard my spiel and everything. I hope y'all doing good. And I hope y'all ready to recap the last episode of these auditions. So... Be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified of all my latest updates. Yes, you guys, yes. The month of April, we got a lot of content on the way. We do, we got a lot of things coming up, some special things in the background that I can't say just yet, but <laughs> I can't wait till I see it. And I got a present for y'all, I got a present for you guys coming soon that's gonna keep me on the channel even further. And you know, but let's get into this review, y'all. Okay, you guys, so we start off this episode where we left off on the last one with Amber and Chanel fighting. Now, if y'all watched Jocelyn's Cabaret, I never did, but I do know Chanel because Chanel won the Cabaret, I think. Those two are fighting, and I must say, y'all, is it just me or Chanel is giving us the slim treatment? Chanel has fell away! Chanel, how you let Amber do you that bad? I mean, Amber, did you, Chanel? I mean, did you? I mean, did you... Wow, did you irregular? Did you dirty? I mean, beat you like you stole the last piece of cake that was left on the table that she had plans to eat. She whooped your ass. I mean, Chanel walking to the main stage looking rough, but goddamn, she left looking even rougher. Okay, y'all, so then Wet Wet walks into the room. I think Wet Wet was on Jocelyn's Cabaret as well. So it's like, damn, another Jocelyn Cabaret graduate coming here too? Now, Wet Wet made it known, y'all. She wanted her spot on the show. So Wet Wet was giving everybody, you know, her trials and tribulations and heartache. Yeah. And the girl beside her was like, okay, Ann. And Wet Wet felt offended and started beating the girl in the head with a microphone. I mean, Wet Wet was pounding this girl's head with the microphone. They came out of clothes showing us all her glory. And they gave Wet Wet a ticket. Now, Wet Wet, from what I do know, is kind of sort of funny. So, we do need some comedians on the show because these hoes be so hostile and think everybody's trying to clown on them. So, I think Wet Wet will be a good addition. I think she'll be good. I think so. Shinsia. Shinsia, when I started doing these auditions, I liked you. You started feeding off Natalie demonic energy and it kind of felt like, well, damn, I got some power up here. I can make these females do what I want. You made a girl, you didn't make her do it, but you gave, for her spot on the show, you told this girl, sneak somebody for a ticket. And she did it! Like, the girl that got snuck didn't realize she was gonna be the victim. Like, this girl went and attacked this girl. All because Shansia said so. Shansia, like, you had such a beautiful spirit without me even seeing this episode. This one right here showed me your true colors. Like, y'all use those girls for entertainment. I honestly couldn't do it, no matter how bad they want to be on the show. I could not make them fight somebody and just to get a spot on the show. I would say, you know, do the hokey pokey or some shit. Like, so y'all, then a blind girl walks into the room. Now, y'all know about the blind girl because I talked about her last time. I honestly thought that she was faking the funk about being blind, you know, to get some sympathy. But when she put off her glasses, y'all, she had a glass eye and everything, had her cane. You know, the girl was blind. All right, cool. But every time I seen her, I just felt like somebody would just use her to get a moment. And y'all, somebody did. And y'all, I swear to God, it broke my heart so bad. It broke my heart that somebody did this shit. But what made me even more mad is the fact that they couldn't bring that girl back into the room and let her get her ass whooped. Let her get her lashes by everybody that was up in there. My group of girls that would have been up in there with me, if that would have been me getting jumped, 
we would have brought her back into the room and we would have beat her ass. It it's obvious to me your mother did not raise you. You was raised by a pack of wolves because guess what? Anybody that got morals, principles, and values will not attack a blind person. And I know we always talk about morals, principles, and values when it's on Zeus Network. I know. As much as I want them to have some, they don't really have it. But goddamn, show, show a little character. You attacked that girl for no reason because you wanted a moment and the camera wasn't on you. And Natalie asked everybody in the room, was that okay what that girl did? Everybody said no, that wasn't okay. And Natalie gave everybody in that room a ticket. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Y'all not getting put on the show. But you guys have character. You guys have morals and values. You guys were raised by strong women. And I respect that. So for that alone, Natalie, bring that chin here. Let me, let me wipe that powder off there. You did good, Natalie. You did good. I know you're not picking none of them, but you did good. The girl that got attacked, the blind girl, got a $5,000 ticket, and I was happy for that as well. Another funny thing that happened was, that's why you gotta watch the shit you say and what you do. Because you will end up like this girl. Now, I call this girl on Amazon the whole time, right? She had a hoochie bra on, her little hoochie shorts on, giving the girls everything they need to give. So when she walked into the room, Natalie was like, give me some push-ups. And the girl was like, I'm not doing no push-ups, but I'll shake this ass for you. She got her ticket and she was like, I told y'all I was coming to get this ticket. She basically was talking too much shit. So she got her ticket snatched by somebody. And she was like, give my ticket back. And the girl was like, but you not getting no ticket. So. She was like, okay, I'm about to beat your ass. She biting off all her nails. We ain't got time for none of that. Like, when you about to fight, you got to fight with whatever you got on. Like, fight with the nails on. I'm like, okay, my bitch biting her nails off, taking off earrings, moving her wig. She gonna destroy this girl for that ticket. Girl got in that water and drowned. <laughs> you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me, you mean to tell moi, you did all of that to get your ass in that water behind your ticket and got beat up and still didn't get your ticket? Man, that girl whooped your ass, snatched your ticket, and walked out with the moment. And so Natalie was so no good, y'all. They had a ticket on the counter. Natalie said, no. It took it back from her. I was like, oh, man, that's dead. Like, Natalie took that girl a ticket. Girl, at some point, they was getting tickets for even having deodorant in their book bag. They made one girl open up her book bag to show that she had deodorant to prove what she was saying was true. When the girl pulled her deodorant out, Natalie was like, here go this ticket, you clean bitch. Here go this ticket. So then the next group of girls came in here and it was like, I don't want y'all to talk, just start twerking. And after they started twerking or whatever, Shasia was like, and I saw Spice in the corner doing the same thing. And Shasia said it smelled like fish in here. So I don't know who Puss Puss was fishing, giving us tilapia, but baby, get your shit together. Cause they said you smell like fish. You ain't heard it from me, but the girl said that y'all had, that y'all smelled like, you know, tilapia and jellyfish and octopus so get, get it together and i was like well what y'all expect when y'all that coochie that been sitting outside baking in the sun for 12 plus hours come in here and bend over with no central air y'all ask for it now suffer so it was this one hispanic girl that came on us to rap and she cut off one girl and she was like hey i ain't gonna beat you up but i would and the girl was like i bet you can't and the girl that said i ain't gonna beat you up beat the piss out of her I mean, was giving her the blues, giving her the blues clues. I mean, after she beat her up, her face was leaking and she was rapping. I'm like, well, God damn, like, I definitely want to see her on the show. So I was like, you know what? We need some people from the trenches on here. We do. We don't want to see all the baby bitches. We want some natural people too. We want some people that we see in our everyday life. Put her on the show. And girl, they had Nene Leaky Mouth doing backstage interviews. I told y'all, there's not a good look for Nene. Like, Nene was like, ah! Like, giving us the fakest laugh. Like, bitch, you not even paying attention to what them girls are saying. Like, Nene, I'm trying my best to keep professional for these reviews, but I'm real tired of seeing people that's out their generation trying to fight to stay in the spotlight. Nene, you was on a national syndicated show. You was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. You made Housewives of Atlanta. You did. You put the girls, you put that franchise on a map. You should have had your pick to go on any franchise, but you overran your mouth. You messed up your career, and now you're on Zeus Network doing backstage interviews for Baddies Caribbean. How can you sleep at night? You must have really been blackballed, Nene. You must have really been blackballed. I don't like this look for you. I don't like none of this for you. But instead of making your own way, paving your way for yourself, this is what you come and do. So we get to this part of the episode, with, which pissed me off. Natalie was like, dear baddie gods. And I'm like, Natalie, are you out of your fucking mind? Like, you use this man name in vain? For a joke and for a pun for a show? Are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? Like, just say anything to go viral. Just say anything to have a moment. Because you knew we would talk about this. You knew we would. And you want everybody to bow their heads. And then you say, slap the neighbor that's next to you. <sighs> Sounds 
I'm so tired, child. I would die. I'm so tired. I'm really tired. And some of them did it. And this is what a girl I like the most that earned my respect stood on business. So, y'all, they had a girl that was about seven feet tall. I mean, she was giving me Jolly Green Giant if I ever seen her before. And they had a girl that was about three feet. They told her to go stand next to the girl, right? So, y'all, the height difference was Ray Charles could see it. Like, the girl to the ground, this girl up here to the roof. And that little was like, for $5,000, I want you to slap her. And then they was laughing. Like, they, want, they wanted a moment for the camera so bad. Because I'm telling y'all, if this girl would have slapped that big girl, it would have went viral. It would have went viral. I'm telling y'all, Natalie wanted that moment. But you offer somebody $5,000, but you can at least offer the $45,000 or $50,000. What am I going to do with $5,000? If I'm going to get my ASB on this camera for slapping this girl that's four times my height, you going to pay me for my suffering, Natalie. You're coked out, motherfucker. you going to pay me for my suffering. You don't tell me slap this girl that's way up there to the roof for five bands. No! And the girl's still on business. The girl said she's not doing that. You hoes not about to make a mockery out of her. And I loved it. You ate that. You and at the end of the episode, they offer somebody five thousand dollars to slap somebody. So the girl that got the money went and slapped this girl. And I was like, what the fuck? Like she got a five thousand dollar ticket, but I feel like that girl that got slapped should have beat her ace. But the girl was like, you know what, that's cool, you can slap me or whatever, because I want I want my shine. And Natalie was like, No, no, you're not doing it. I'm like, Natalie, this girl got slapped, took it on the chin to help somebody else out. But when it came down for her, y'all didn't want to help her out. Y'all didn't want to give her a chance. Nobody wanted to give this girl a chance. So this girl felt the way. So her and Natalie was going back and forth. And I heard Spice in the background saying, slap Natalie. And this girl swung on Natalie. And Natalie swung back. You know what I'm saying? Like, not too much really happened. Natalie didn't look messed up. Didn't look injured or nothing. And they had to escort the girl out there. And I kind of felt like that was sad because... Y'all didn't give this girl a chance. This girl got slapped and everything just to make y'all show better. But when it came down to her, y'all treated her like she was a bitch on the street. And at the end of the auditions, y'all, somebody said, I beat up rappers that try to mess up my career or some shit like that. And she took her microphone and threw it and she didn't see her. And so another girl had jumped in to attack the girl for throwing the microphone. And Shancia gave her a ticket. And everybody else that did not help her, she kicked them out. And y'all, that was the end of the auditions. And I... Can't say enough, I'm glad. I'm glad to stop reviewing Baddest Caribbean. The auditions themselves drained me, and I know I'll never do it again. I don't want to see people sell their souls on camera to not even get picked or even considered to be on the show. That's disrespectful in its own right, to do the most and not get picked. Well, we made it, y'all. Am I excited to watch Baddest Caribbean? Out of 10, I'm like at a 4. Now, now I'm going to hold you, I am. Because I feel like it's going to be the same antics. Because I heard they dropped the cast... And someone said it was about 30 people on the cast. So I'm like, how the hell y'all gonna have 30 people in two houses? Like, how is that gonna work? Explain to me how is that gonna work. I just hope Diamond the Body and Tinker Bella got put on the cast. That's it. But y'all, that is all I have for you guys for these auditions. They are finally over. The auditions were a flop. You heard it from me. They were a flop. But if you like what I had to say, and you like how I roasted these old hoes, then be sure to like. Be sure to comment. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified of all my latest updates. That's what you should do. We have a lot of content coming out in the month of April, so strap in. Always have a drink on standby and get ready to laugh. I'll see you on my next review. Bye.